Hey guys, how's it going? You can see my funny chat <coughs> over here with this guy. He thinks I'm using that live part, but I'm not. And I'm just going to lead off the seismitoid scene, the sneasel, and uh, possibly a sashed, what's it called? So um, I can get up my rocks, and that sounds like a fun plan. And I can go into um, this guy, set up my rocks, and that circle throw did a lot. It leads me to think that he's banded um, because that did actually do quite a lot and I'm physically defensive so um yeah I'm gonna go into vile plume hopefully get the uh wow get a crit and he gets poisoned so it's a fair trade but now he does have the guts boost which is very scary um looking but I can just go into Masharna over and over now that he is poisoned but um <clears throat> Yeah, that still does a lot, so this is definitely looking like Bandit, and why? This always happens to me. Does this happen to you where, um, um, where whenever someone's using, um, a phasing move, they always send me out into the same Pokemon, and it's always not the one that I want. <laughs> oh, golly gosh. My problems that aren't very, uh, bad. I don't know. Let's, um baton pass into something he's gonna get himself paralyzed here and i'm gonna baton pass into audino now i guess and i can encore him no rocks for him <coughs> but i don't really want to be paralyzed uh um i'm gonna wish actually actually no because I, I think the wish pass to vile plume is more important than him getting rocks up <laughs> And he gets paralyzed, so that's cool. I can go to Vile Plume now, not fearing anything, pretty much. And I can not really do anything. I'm probably just going to switch out right after I switch back in. But I do want to get the uh, Heal Bell up to myself. And he does want to Stealth Rock. And I can go into my Seismitoad now, not fearing anything. Thunder Wave, uh, I don't really know. And he doesn't have anything to uh, take the Earthquake. Yes, he does. He does have that Tangle. I didn't see that. But, and he also has the Haunter, so, so those are two things I want to be wary of. But I can go into Vile Plume for both of them. I'm just going to knock off on the chase er, on the chance that he goes out into either of them. <coughs> goes out into Tangela, looking more defensive um, by his team, but I don't see anything looking... Well, actually, it could be Tangela and then um, this guy, but that looks like offensive primate really wrecks that and one thing i did notice about this team mainly was that i don't think it has enough offense i just made it last night like i tested it like once or twice before i had to go to bed and that was one thing that i really did notice and i really don't think vile plume should be my designated heel beller i think i want to leave that up to audino instead of thunder wave or maybe even masharna instead of baton pass i really just don't know and I probably could sweep after this little guy right here is gone. And I don't want to go into uh, Masharna because he does have... This is a very good typing, it seems, that this Pokemon has. So let's go into Seismitoad and take the Ice Punch hopefully well. Uh, okay, that took it better than I expected. Way better, actually. Life Orb, wow, that did take it pretty well. I'm going to be able to live another one, and I hope I can live any of this guy's moves and just go for the Scald. And if that doesn't kill, it might get the burn, and he might get himself down to... No, I'm not at the point where freaking rocks... I mean, another Life Orb will kill, but I am I am at a part where I can go into something else to possibly revenge kill him with. I can go into my Musharna and Heal Bell on the on the off chance that he doesn't have a very strong. Um, hmm, actually, I don't know. I'm just gonna go into Musharna Heal Bell because I don't think this guy gets he gets. I don't think he gets Night Slash. So he has to use like Bite, and I doubt he's even using that. I really don't know. Well, I don't think it'll do it too much for me for some reason. And I don't even have Heal Bell. What am I doing? Okay, let's just go for the uh, Moonlight, I guess. Cause Okay, this is... I did not expect this beat up. That's going to hit from all the Pokemon and get him Life Orb, right? And I can just Moonlight back. Okay, that's good. 
Okay, I'm actually glad I didn't have heal bell because that would have written pretty much a dead Masharna. And I'm also thankful that I did not get paralyzed right there. That would have played a big role. And he goes into Haunter, so now I can go into my Audino and not really do too much to him, but Encore him into whatever he wants to go for, sub disable. Um, usually they carry Hidden Power Fighting or Sludge Bomb on this set, so, um, yeah, Sludge Bomb it is, and it's looking like the sub disable set to me. He's gonna be locked in the Sludge Bomb, which is not. I would have rathered him have, um, Hidden Power Fighting, but now I do have three free turns in, um, I can go into something, but I don't really have anything all too great to go into. I could go into Masharna and hope that I can set up a couple of Calm Minds. I don't know how much the first Sludge Bomb will do, but, uh, yeah, and I'm paralyzed. That's way too risky. I don't know how much Sludge Bomb will do to Vile Pluma and Max HP, but not anything else. I'm just Max HP, Max Special Attack, so... <laughs> I don't think that would be the best of plays, especially since I can't do anything back to him. Um, I guess I do just want to go into my Musharna and hope for the best. And actually, no, 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 no. I can wish pass to Musharna. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> with the crit. Oh, I wish I'd protect on this set right now, but I don't. So, whatever. We are going to pass this to our Musharna. And, um, Sludge Bomb is going to do how much? 32, so that Sludge Bomb is how much power? 90, I think? 80? 90? Yeah, it's 90. And then Shadow Ball is 80, so that means Shadow Ball will probably do around 60. So, that's good to know. We can calm mine before he gets a chance to go for the Shadow Ball. And then, oh, crap. <sighs> Hax is kicking in now, and I don't like that. I do. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, let's go into Liepard and Encore him into Shadow Ball because frickin' got paralyzed. That's not fun at all, but what can you expect? He did get a Thunder Wave off on me, and I don't think I've gotten paralyzed once yet. So, it's bound to happen. We are going to Encore him into that, and that will be a lot of fun. And then we can uh, switch <laughs> because he is going to be able to take me out with another one, but I do have that Audino, which I also still can't do anything with, but that's quite all right. We can U-turn into something on the throw, and in this case, it's going to have to be, oh, crap. no, he'll be faster than me if he uses payback, so Audino does look like the play of the day. <laughs> And I didn't even see Haunter for when I was looking at Primeape's coverage, so that's bad of me. I gotta kill Haunter before I can pretty much clean up with, um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> My Primeape, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna try and do here. I'm not really fearing all too much. And this is looking like a Banded Throw. No, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it's safe to call Banded Throw, because, oh my gosh, he has Facade too. That is... Very scary, very scary indeed, and I don't really have anything to take that, actually. Okay, that's uh, that's very bad. I don't know socks base speed, socks throw. <clears throat> throw, right? And he has 45, and then Audino has what? 50, okay, so I can easily outspeed and go for the wish, pass it to, I don't even know what I want to pass it to at this point. Okay, how am I going to take out that Haunter, though? Because I can't really go into Primeape and lock myself in the CC, because I have nothing to take on that Haunter 1v1. And, oh, okay. this is very, very bad. This is a very strong throw <clears throat> for you. I might want to go for the return or the... No, I'm just going to make the better play and go for the wish. Ugh. Okay, after this, he's going to be at, like, uh, I can't just, I have to go for the return, really. I have to get him down as low as I can so that he will die. <laughs> okay, he's going to be at 4%. I'm almost sure that a freaking pursuit should take him out or a U-turn. Uh, I'm not sure which is stronger, but I don't really care. I'm just going to go for the U-turn, actually, because if it doesn't kill, I can fodder or something. And actually, no, never mind, never mind. I'm the fastest Pokemon I have. I have to hope this kills. And it does. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Okay, and now I'm at 23% looking good. I don't know what he wants to go into now. Maybe that uh, Rock Probo Pass guy. I don't think he would want to go into anything else because Tangela, he could go into Tangela, but um, I don't think he would want to. Okay, maybe Tangela or that. What am I talking about? He could go into either one. But no, Probo Pass is the suggested or the more favored thing I should say. Um, I guess I could U-turn out, keep my life hard, because it really is the only way I'm going to take out that Haunter safely, so I don't want to taunt and have him do something else, so I'm going to U-turn, go into uh, Vileplume, try to wake up here. Seriously, what did he even use to... Oh yeah, that silly freaking... Um, Tangela, so I want to go into Vileplume now, Giga Drain, just try to wake up, really... It doesn't even matter. I do predict him to switch so into Haunter. Okay, this is not what I want him to go into. I'm not sure if a Giga Drain can break his sub, and uh, I don't. Oh, crap. He's going to go for the sub, and. Um, actually. Oh, crap! Crap, 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 crap. Oh, my. I just. I just messed up right there. I just simply messed up. Oh my god, I could have had it. <sighs> See, you guys, what where I went wrong was I should have switched it in a live part right there because that is the reason I have him on my team. So obviously I haven't play tested this team enough because crap that, man. I could have just had it right there, but no, I deserve to lose because I just made that stupid play that I realized was wrong five seconds after I clicked it. Oh my freaking gosh, that's not good, and my Vileplume was asleep this whole freaking game, except for right now, finally going to break that sub. I do not know what he wants to do. He's probably just going to want to take me out. That would be the good play. And if I can, oh crap, you know what, guys, I think I might have this. Um, seeing as that Tangle might be... Wait, what am I at now? Am I at enough to live? No, I'm not. Unless he gets, like, min, min, min damage, and I'm, he's not going to do that. <clears throat> so now I have to go into my lie part, and I hope a Pursuit will kill. If it doesn't, then that sucks for me. But I have to hope it does, which it probably will. Um, don't have attack investment besides four, so... I really don't know, but it does! Okay, so this is good. I have to hope he goes into Tangle right here, right now. Um... That would be optimal, oh my gosh, because I'm almost positive I can Oko um, the little grass guy thing with um, um, a close combat. And I'm going to taunt him just so he can't do crap, and then he's going to Leaf Storm, okay, okay, okay. So he's the offensive variant, let's go. Oh no, I, I can't do it, but he's not Eviolite, so I don't know. Okay, I have to... Close combat is my strongest, most powerful move. Let's just go for it. I'm banded. You're dead. Let's see. He has regenerator, though, so that's annoying. He's going to be at 88%. I'm positive I can take out that little Gorbis guy, and then it's just going to be down to Tangelo, which I'll probably lose, but anyone just wants to go straight into that. So, non Eviolite, probably max HP. Hopefully not, <laughs> but um, yeah, if I had just switched. When he went for the sub, which I realized the turn after I had done it, I it wasn't even a risky play because I was asleep. He's obviously going to set up the sub. I should have done it, but I could have, would have, should have. And this was actually a pretty long live narration. So that did just, just shy. If only, if only I ran out of mint. GG, man, it was a pretty good game. You too, and you guys have a good one as well. I'm going to start saying leave a like again, which I haven't for like the past five videos, but I did do a study, and it really does make you guys leave likes. I'm so funny. Whatever. <laughs> you guys have a good one.